I'm pretty sure I've shown this before, so I'll keep this really short, but I think it's still really cool. And while I was sitting here playing with uh, Yate BTS uh, and looking at my Hacker F, it kind of reminded me of GR Deck 2. Uh, I hadn't used it in a while. So I have in a completely different room, I have some deck technology set up. Uh, it actually is the device that this page talks about that I have pulled up here in front of me. It's just a, a used um, baby monitor, basically, that I bought for testing a while back. Um, a few dollars, you know, used. And so it's sitting there, and on one end, uh, the radio is uh, playing, streaming through. Um, the deck technology to the receiver on the other side and so we're going to tune to that and we're going to decode that and listen to that and I'm going to make this really quick this is the latest Dragon OS uh, all you have to do is um, I know I'm making it sound simple but I recommend read up on deck technology and how it works and understand GNU radio uh, the only thing really though that I find that I need to do is make sure the um, Hacker F is plugged in of course and we will check the uh, firmware on the board and make sure like I continue to say 2021 or greater for the way Dragon OS Focal you know on the desktop is set up also on the Raspberry Pi currently same same deal and so we've got that we are in the user source GR deck 2 and in this case GRC folder there is some flow graphs in there and we'll open up the default uh, hacker f2 i think i've modified this uh, include uh, as i included it in dragon os by putting the hacker f equals zero i know this is rtl sdr source it, uh, basically the same thing as the osmocom source in dragon os because there's all the uh, you know drivers lime air spy everything uh, uhd um, if you're going to create a flow graph like this if you don't put in at least in the case of the hacker f if you don't put the hacker f in the device identifier like in this case i've only got one plugged in it's zero it will you'll notice down in the bottom left hand corner it'll try and use uh, uhd by default and it generally doesn't work well so just make sure you um, you know keep that in mind when you're using a uh, dragon os and really maybe any other GNU radio setup if you've got multiple drivers just something to keep in mind I didn't change anything else. We've got the sample rate. Everything is um, the way it came uh, in the flow graph or the way um, I put it in Dragon OS. The only thing is you may want to check the um, QT GUI chooser here. There is frequencies that are um, programmed into here. I seem to recall putting extra frequencies in here, but if you wanted to add more, you can. You just follow the same setup here. You've got options and labels. You have to put a corresponding label to, <coughs> excuse me, to the frequency. But because I know uh, my setup here is covered, I think I'm on carrier number uh, 23, and I have a antenna, of course, on this Hacker F that's covering about one to two gigahertz, and so you can see in this case. Um, I can hear GNU, or, uh, GNU radio. I can hear uh, Guns N' Roses playing through my speaker. Let me see. I'll put it on a different uh, part here. You can see the uh, parts. Uh, I know it's going real fast. RFP and then PP. You select uh, your part here, and in this case, um, you can see I'm getting a little bit of. Um, I think the word is overflow. But if I select part zero, and I'll dial the gain back a little bit, we should start decoding. And here, in this case, per really well, uh, what is going over the air. All right. So there you go. What's that? five minutes or less listen to guns and roses over uh, deck technology <laughs> there you go you can try it on other things uh, you just be aware of um, what you're doing I guess all right have fun